Hey guys, so I have something to show you that I think you guys are going to like. Taking a tour, you know. Uh, excuse the mess, I've got a couple projects going. I've got the stream PC being built, lots of processors and some more guns that I'm painting over there. I'm just gonna go out right now, apologize for the audio quality. Uh, the camera I have isn't that good. It's literally my wife's and it's pretty old. And right now I'm using a desktop mic that's a little bit close to the PC fan. So bear with me on this one and keep in mind that I don't really do reviews often. Okay, so I bought a Wolf King circular keyboard. It's supposed to be basically ergonomic. Um, it's an older membrane keyboard that I've only seen floating around in pictures on Reddit and Google. But I want to try it out. I found it on eBay for like 50 bucks and it was one of three left. So I said, screw it. Why not? Um, here you'll see my HyperX Alloy FPS keyboard. It's what I normally use. Um, you'll also see that I have a custom keycap set up. I use my Q for my flashbang, my E for my smoke, F for my Molotov, and C for high explosive. My T is my use button. And then my caps lock is actually my push to talk, but um, it, it's just my own personal setup. Everyone has it different. Now onto the Wolf King keyboard. Um, everything seems like it's in a good spot. Granted, a couple of the keys are in different spots. Um, it shouldn't be too hard for me to adjust or for anyone else to adjust. Um, I did notice that a couple of the keys had weird texture implying they'd been replaced. But as you can see here, everything kind of lines up. It is basically ergonomic, but it's, it's a basic of the basics. Um, the keys feel decent. They're better than most membrane keyboards I have, even though this one that I got came kind of dirty and used. Um, I do have one weird complaint, though. There's two control buttons. I don't know why, but I have this habit of trying to press it down there, and I always kept pressing the, uh, the second one or the tilde key. Now, I did notice that on these membrane keyboards, it did feel oddly mechanical, even though I know it isn't. It, um, there's a weird resistance, like just more more than I would get with a normal memory keyboard. And I, I did like it though. It does feel nice, even though it's a little bit worn. Um, now we're gonna be switching to some gameplay footage. I'm gonna be showing you some camera footage from up top, as you can see here. Um, it's a little bit weird to use, but as you can see, it's, it's going just fine. Um, I think for me personally, I just have to change my key mapping layout, my binding, like, um, I've been having to reach to my other keyboard, press the buy button because I have it bound differently than normal. But all again, it'd be up to you really of how you want to bind it. But overall, I would say this is a great keyboard. Um, it's definitely novelty. I wouldn't use it for a competitive scene, but it's definitely fun. It's something to tinker around with, bring to lands, and show off. But overall, I think it was worth the buy. I, I don't know what you guys think, but to me, it was personally worth the buy.